It's early spring, and around our coastlines, all eyes are on the water. Because just below the surface, things are getting busy. Sea stars stretch their arms, all five of them. Crabs jostle over scraps. And amongst this motley crew are some of the strangest life forms in the sea. Jellyfish polyps. They're anchored to rocks around our coastline in their hundreds of thousands. Feeding on passing scraps of plankton, it's thought that jellyfish polyps can live like this for many months or even years. Here on the bedrock, they're biding their time, waiting for the perfect environment, like water temperature and an abundance of food. And then, when conditions are perfect, the polyps transform, morphing into a daisy chain of segments. Now, they're no longer polyps, but strobila. As they grow, they start to dance. A strange, pulsating jig. A prelude to something remarkable. Ever so gently, the uppermost disc breaks away and a new baby moon jellyfish drifts off in the current. One by one, every single disc in the strobilla follows suit. Their dispersal is timed to perfection to coincide with the UK's springtime plankton bloom. And with food in such abundance, the jellyfish can grow rapidly, nearly six millimetres a day. They now have their distinctive bell shape, eye spots that can detect light and dark. and tentacles lined with stinging cells, perfect for paralyzing their planktonic prey. After just three months, they develop into their final form. Medusa. These mature adults are 95% water. They have no brains, no bones, and no blood. The rings in the top of the bell are their reproductive organs. With every contraction, they propel themselves through the water. Sometimes, when food is especially plentiful and water temperatures are just right, moon jellies form colossal crowds, known as blooms. They may live a nomadic life, but it's anything but lonely. They spend most of their time close to the surface, 
creating a cosmos of luminous disks. It's not difficult to reproduce with so many mates nearby, and once the eggs have been fertilised, the larvae will sink to the sea floor. These moon jellies will never see their offspring because those polyps will be safely nestled on the bedrock, awaiting their own perfect time to shine. <laughs>